Hi guys, um, here we are with a Miura Mark II and uh, please excuse the wind noise, our southeaster called the Cape Doctor in this part of the world is doing its thing again. What we have here is a completely redesigned yacht, it's not to be confused with the Miura that we all know. Uh, this was Berkemeyer's uh, new drafting. She has a racy hull, a lot of a lot of interior space with a raised uh, coach roof. If we look up mast, you'll notice that she has a mast head rig. Just move around. The boat is in uh, beautiful condition inside and out. The head sail uh, UV strip is going to be replaced. As you can see just how high that uh, coach roof is, which is giving you all that internal space. all appear to be in good condition as we can see all lines lead aft to the cockpit see the witches jammers there's plenty of room to, to maneuver around the sides of the vessel she's got a Lovely boom vang here. The tactic instruments were mounted there, but uh, they are now mounted uh, in the cockpit. All the winches are two speed uh, Harkins, primaries are 44s, and secondaries are 40s. But until the steering, on the back side. The motor is a Yanma 28 horse, beautiful engine. It's a shaft drive. You can see here, you've got your tactic instruments. Dropping down into the companionway to our port, we have got our galley. She's got uh, manual uh, salt water, manual fresh water, and uh, pressurized fresh water system as well. The hob is on a on a gimbal. Moving around onto the chart table. Uh, modern electronics, sound system, battery management system, it's a very clever feature underneath the chart table, the chart table slides off uh, to our left and uh, gives you access into the deep freeze both from that area and uh, directly through the top of the chart table once slid to the side. Moving forward, we've got two single berths, moving further forward, we have a cabin for someone small and with an insert under there, 
could be a very comfortable cabin for a younger person. Fanning aft again. We are going to be heading down the companionway again. The motor is beautifully situated in that box and also the box makes a lovely landing when coming through the companionway. Once the, the box is open, port and starboard, both, both sides. If a filler was put in in this area over here, that could make for a really nice double berth. Panning around to starboard, we have the heads, midships, nicely sized heads, manual flush, uh, pressurized uh, fresh water with a pull out shower. A very unique feature, I suppose, it's got a number of them, but one of them is that the heads door is actually watertight compartment with heavy duty closures on it. Uh, the same applies for the fore cabin. So uh, yeah she would be those doors would be very very useful in that situation that none of us want. So just do one more pan around. As can be seen she's in beautiful condition. If we just have a look at the coach roof, beautiful vent, beams Good headroom, I'm just short of 1.8 meters and I can walk pretty much through this whole boat with plenty of head clearance. So all in all, she's in beautiful condition, wonderful layout and a surprising amount of space in a 30 foot boat.